During my first relationship, my boyfriend at the time swapped explicit pictures of me and other girls with his best friend in exchange for pictures he had. These pictures were sent to them by girls who trusted them. Girls who had, and probably have, no idea how many people have seen these pictures. That is, if they're even aware they've been shared at all. When I was in secondary school, two instances occurred where media was shared of girls without their consent. They circled every school, they were shared in every group chat, and they were posted online with no regard for the girls involved. At one stage, a massive group chat was made by teenage boys specifically to send pictures of different girls they had into it. And despite the news coverage and media attention that this group chat received, nothing was ever done to make sure that nothing like it would happen again. What I remember most about these events is that even though all these girls are minors and everyone reporting on it were adults, it was the girls who were to blame. It was their fault the media of them was spread because she shouldn't have sent them if she didn't want it to get out. And that's just what boys do and she was stupid to trust them. As a woman who has grown up surrounded by these attitudes in regards to all forms of sexual abuse, when my friend messaged me last Tuesday to tell me that she found pictures of me in a folder with hundreds of other women, I didn't really feel anything. Because I am a woman and I am desensitised to the violation of my own body. And I have seen the reaction when it happened to others and I know the reaction I would get when it happened to me. When she asked me to let her know if there was anything she could do, I just felt hopeless because there is nothing she or anyone could do. Because we are not protected and because I knew it would be blamed on us. The idea of consent is not complicated. It is not a difficult concept to grasp. Yet somehow it is lost on everyone. The sexualization of women's bodies is seemingly only acceptable when it is done without our consent. When we own the roles thrown on us by the world that we live in, it makes us sluts. It makes us girls who need to learn self-respect and it means we have to stop degrading ourselves. It is easy to distance yourself from the shame of objectifying someone once you have dehumanised them. And it is easy to feel no sympathy for the victims when you have removed all humanity from how you see them. The way Ireland views women is what bred the type of people who think these actions are okay. And it is not enough to advise not to send explicit pictures. And it is not enough to stop earning a living through OnlyFans. And it is not enough to let these boys continue being these boys. These are not solutions. They are unrealistic and they are an insult to the victims. And I am tired of being told that we should expect this. And I am tired of being told that we should have if we didn't. We are not to blame for how they treat us and we are not responsible for how others choose to behave. And it is never our fault when we are betrayed. We do not have to abide by the rules, adhere to a role none of us auditioned for. Their dehumanisation of us and their objectification of us is theirs and theirs alone. Over the past week, I have heard over and over again all the reasons the victims of the leak deserve respect. And for some reason, everyone says to imagine she was your sister, or she's someone's daughter. And this is repeated constantly by very well-meaning people. People who don't see that these phrases are only attempts to humanise us 
by linking our existence to how we relate to men. You shouldn't have to picture us as a sister or a daughter or a mother to see us as human. My parents found out they had a little girl when I was born at six minutes past midnight on the 11th of July, 1998. At 10 past five in the evening on June 27th, 2002, they had a little boy. And on the 24th of September, just gone, at 32 minutes past five in the afternoon, I had a little boy. These events are what make me a daughter and a sister and a mother. But I am a woman before I am a daughter. I am a woman before I am a sister. And I am a woman before I am a mother. I am a woman before I am anything else. And me being a woman should be enough of a reason to give me respect.